Hi there. This is Vincent Yu from MDSEC Consulting. So recently, there has been a large interest in the use of a technique known as domain fronting to bypass website categorization and censorship. So I've been inspired to do a bit of my own research in the area in terms of weaponizing this technique for usage in simulated attack engagements. About a week ago, Security Artwork released a post on utilizing Google App Engine to forward traffic onto the Twitter API. A few days after that post came out, Optif released a post on utilizing Amazon's Cloudflare content delivery network as a way to mask C2 traffic using cloudflare.net domains. So we can see that how we can go about configuring that here in this post. Now, just today, Raphael Mudge, the creator of Cobalt Strike, released a video demonstrating the abuse of Amazon's CDN using a domain of a0.awsstatic.com that would allow an arbitrary host header to be set to instruct the CDN to retrieve content from your particular instance. This was already demonstrated, so you can view his video for any further information. In this video, I will be showing you the effort of 30 minutes of extra research that allows me to establish an egress channel using further popular, t popular trusted domains on the top 1 million domains list. So firstly, I have set up an instance of Cobalt Strike, all hooked up as previously instructed by Raphael Mudge. So I've got the listener running here with my, uh, with my CloudFront instance and some beacons. I'll talk about that in a moment. So you might see that there's some interesting be uh, beacon domains here. We've, I've got static.tumblr.com, cdn.az.gov, that's the Arizona government, and media.tumblr.com. So, now, after reading and viewing Raphael Mudge's video, my next idea was to determine what other domains I could use so what if a0.awsstatic.com is ever blocked? So if we go here, we can see that a0.awsstatic.com is the domain that I'm requesting for a resource of mdsec.txt. And I've just specified my Cloudflare instance um, host header in the, in the host header. So I've managed to obtain the text file that I've posted. So by performing this, I can do a request as such. So let's just modify this here. So I've just written a quick script so that will request the resource from every domain. So if I do an echo i echo j here, all right. So this should this should be good. Okay. So let's run the script. So here we can see what particular domains are actually able to. Alright, that's a bit messy to read, so let's just change this to and then okay. So we can see A0, A1, D0, D1, F0, L0, R0, S0 can all be used to um to retrieve information from the domain. So let's just check this. So if I put R0 here, can I get MD second alert here? Yeah, so I've managed to find more domains now. So from this point, I wanted to expand upon the number of domains that I've got um, to utilize on a, on a simulated attack. So now, how about more? At this point, I recalled the CNAME record and the idea of being able to use your own domain name whilst using CloudFront. So going to the Amazon documentation on how to set up CloudFront there's a bit about what the DNS record should look like after you've set up the CNAME record correctly so if your domain is images.example.com 
and you wanted it to point to the CDN, you just set a record for it as such. Now I just scanned the top, um, I just scanned a DNS server for the top 1 million domain uh, DNS records and found quickly found quite a few interesting ones which I will share in this video. So I've got a list here. So now if I cut this output for specifically let's see C names. Right, so let's have a look at gov. Let's see what government domains there are. So I've got cdn.arizona.gov. So that's the Arizona government. So now let's just check that it actually works even though there is a C name record for it. So if we paste in the domain name, we should get mdsec is here. So as displayed, we can see mdsec is here. So now if I go back and put Tumblr, there's media.tumblr.com and static.tumblr.com. So if I go here and just type it in, right, we can see mdsec is here. So in but if I put Instagram, there's also Instagram. So if I do images.instagram.com, so I guess it's safe to assume that my enumeration of loads of domains is actually working and I'm actually able to use arbitrary domains that I've found that actually point to the Cloudflare CDN to uh, as, as egress domains essentially. So I've just compiled a, a short list here. So in my quick scans, let's just check how many I was able to find in the in the top 1 million domains. So I found 3,300 in the space of around 30 minutes. So now let's go on to Cobalt Strike if I edit this beacon. All right. So there's a limitation in uh, Cobalt Strike at the moment where you will have to use um, a, the direct um, cloudfront.net host because the host header isn't supported in prior to staging beacon. So yeah, right here we are. So if we continue to the next stage, here we can put a large number of domains that we want to use for beacon tasking. So I've, I've compiled a list here. Let's try and paste it in. Right, okay, so we've got about five or six domains here, which are all pretty legit, legitimate and trusted domains like the Arizona government. Um, we've also got Tumblr and Instagram. So, okay, let's press OK. I've also got a PowerShell one-liner hosted, so let's copy that and sure, let's post it here. Right, let's just let's just say like it's actually working. Let's put static.tumblr.com just to prove like we can even stage using this. Right, so I've run it. We'll open Wireshark to have a look. Hmm. Perhaps it. Right. Okay. Copy this again. Right. Instead of changing the host, right. Let's just use my host. Right. Press OK. We launched the beacon and it's doing a, a request. Okay, we can see that some DNS rec um, lookups were made. There's a DNS lookup for u.gov.com, az.gov, uh, cloudfront.net. Right, and we've got a beacon back. Okay, so let's make it sleep zero, and we'll also do a task list and a directory listing. Right, let's just do that. Now if we go back to the victim host, we can see that it's actually making use of all of these domains to do its to do its um, egress. So going back to HTTP, we can now just click on one of these. We can see what the traffic should look like. So the host, as expected, is cloudfront.net. And yeah, we've actually just managed to use a number of IP addresses as well. So if we go back here, we can see that there's 102 here. 
and potentially there's also 89 there's one 166 103 so yeah thanks to the cloudflare cdn we've got a large range of ip addresses like we'll task to all right that's it for now i just wanted to demonstrate that there is actually a large number of hosts that we can now use for egress um domain names that we can use for egress so actually just as a last thing if i do a dig the tumblr button media.tumblr.com we can see that the cname record is right here all right that's it for now thanks a lot for um watching the video bye